So I just wanted to start this video with a thought. It's got nothing to do with anything. It's got nothing to do with a look, but it seems like this Justin Bieber kid is taking over the world. And you know, there are girls like all over the place who are falling all over themselves and obsessed with him. And they're like crying and babies crying and three-year-olds crying on YouTube over Justin Bieber. And I just kind of wanted to address Justin Bieber himself and say, hi, <laughs> I like your hair. You know you love me, I know you care Just shout whenever and I'll be there You are my love, you are my heart And we will never ever ever be apart Baby, 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 oh yeah Baby, 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 no yeah Baby, 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 oh yeah Thought you'd always be mine, yeah, yeah. Okay guys, you'll want to start this look by using an NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil in the color of Milk. Put it all over your lid. Make sure you get a good amount on there. Then you can just take your finger, and I'm not really rubbing it in. I'm more so just patting and dragging. Now I am going to take a 239 and take eyeshadow. The shade is white and it's by NYX. And I'm just going to pat that all over my lid and also into my inner eye. I'm gonna take a very thin brush. This is a 210. And I'm going to take the Wet n Wild gel liner that I always use. However, I'm not using it in black. It is actually a purple color. I don't know if you can really even see that. It's like eggplant deep purple. And it's $3.99 at CVS and a great eyeliner. Um, I suggest if you go, you should get it in the black and the purple because they're both really good. And also if you catch a sale, that's even better. But I'm going to take this thin pencil and I'm going to make an outline. And I'm using my crease as a guideline. It doesn't have to be terribly perfect. You see my outline is really messy. I kind of um, touched up the white that I um, messed up a little bit. So it doesn't have to be anything perfect. Now I'm going to take Fig from MAC, which is a MAC Pro color. And I'm going to take a 228 and just dip that into my Fig slightly pull on my skin just to make it taut and go over top of that outline that we've just placed. Now I know it looks really terrible, but don't worry, it'll all get cleaned up. To get and achieve that overall blended look that we have here, it takes a lot of adjusting, it takes a lot of going back and going back into certain areas and just adding and all that stuff. So don't think it's supposed to look perfect right away because it's not you have to keep going at it I'm going to dip a pencil brush into a matte black color today I'm using carbon from Mac and I'm going to go right over that purple and I'm just making back and forth motions all right you see I haven't gone very far up with that black I'm just keeping it right over the top of the purple that we've just placed, and that's it. I'm going to wipe off that brush and go right back in with the fig color. And you know, purple can very easily blend into black. So that is why we're trying to have a progression here of the darkest color and fading upwards. All right, so we've got a bold color here now. I'm going to go in and kind of lighten it up and start our progression with a color from Yabby called Funky Plum. So we have Fig and Funky Plum. Oh, kind of a light purple. Taking that same pencil brush, I'm going to go just right over top. And I'm just gonna keep adding and adding and adding and adding until I get it to where I want it. In order to blend correctly, your colors must overlap each other. So that is why I put my colors right on top of each other. Now I'm going to go in with the pink color, which is called Berry Blast from Yebby, and put that right above that purple, but still yet blend it into the purple. And all Yabby Cosmetics can be bought at yabbycosmetics.com. 
I know that sometimes you look at something and it seems overwhelming and it seems like you, you're not going to be able to get it. And you're not going to be able to get it right away, but you'll get it after a few tries. So then I took that same purple um, Wet n Wild gel liner and that same brush that I was initially using and just placed my liner. And neither of those Wet n Wild eyeliners have a name, but they only come in two different colors to my knowledge, and that's dark purple and black. So now that I have my eyeliner placed on the top, I'm going to go in with concealer. I totally forgot to do this, and I did it on the other eye, but I took a loose powder from Benefit called Cloud 9, which is kind of a pinky color, and just splashed it over my lid. And if that messed with anything, you can just go back in and touch it up. Now I'm going to put on my lash, which is the same that I always use, a MAC 44. If you need help putting on lashes, I do have a video for that. And now I'm going to go right over that purple liner just to set your lash. I'm going to go right in that lash line with some black. All right, I'm going to use my uh, Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, which is the same base that we used for our eyelids. Put that in the waterline. Go right back in and set that white for a longer wear with white eyeshadow. And now you can go in again with that pink that we used called Berry, oh, it's called Berry Splats. I think I called it something else earlier. Put that on your inner eye, on the inner lash line. Be sure not to work it too far in. You don't want your um, white to get covered up. And I'm gonna go in with Funky Plum on that outer eye. And just kind of work it into the middle. All right, I'm gonna take that thin brush that we used or have been using to place the eyeliner and I've dipped it in that purple. And I'm literally just working that directly into my lash line. Okay, you see? It's right in the lash line, right here. Now you can put some mascara on the bottom lash. Okay, I wanna use something pink and fun on my cheek, so I'm gonna use a super pink. Desirous from MAC. Very, very pink. And just put that on the balls of my cheeks. And for a lipstick, I'm going to use Blue Rose from NYX. I just thought it was really pretty. I like that. Oh my God, I love this color. And for like, I don't know, it was probably like three, four dollars. It's got really good color payoff too. I like it. Okay, so that pretty much concludes my pink and purple girly look. So um, I hope you guys like it. If you want to find out the products used, you can always go to BeatFaceHoney.com in the blog section. And if we're not friends on Facebook, I hope that we can be friends. There's a link in the sidebar to my Facebook. And as always, I will see you at BeatFaceHoney.com. Bye.